Hello friends, welcome back to our new video that is MCQs on Applied Microbiology and this is the part 4 and the last part of this series of videos on Applied Microbiology. Okay, so the first question of this video is which gram-positive bacteria causes acute bacterial prostatitis and the options are Streptococcus Agalacti agalactius or streptococcus viridans or pepto streptococcus or enterococcus and the right answer is option d that is enterococcus so enterococcus which is a gram positive bacteria causes acute bacterial prostatitis okay to so move on to the next question that is Tick is vector for Crimean Congo fever or Rocky Mountain Spotted fever or Epidemic Typhus or Endemic Typhus or both of the both A and B and the right answer is option E that is both A and B is the right answer. So Tick is a vector for Crimean Congo fever and Rocky Mountain Spotted fever. Okay, so move on to the next question that is most potential agent that can be used in bioterrorism are plague, smallpox, TB or Clostridium botulinum and the right answer is option C that is TB. So TB is the most potential agent that can be used in bioterrorism. Okay. So next question dekhenge. Next question hai. Atypical pneumonia is caused by all except Klebsiella, adenovirus, chlamydia or hemophilus and the right one is option A that is Klebsiella. So atypical pneumonia is caused by Klebsiella. Okay. So move on to the next one. So which of the following is not a vegetable or fruit based fermented product and the options are wine, sauerkraut, beer or vinegar and the right answer is option D that is vinegar. So vinegar is not a vegetable or fruit based fermented products product. Okay. So next one is which of the following do not have a non-human reservoir and the options are Salmonella typhi, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, Triponema pallidum or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so all of these organisms do not have a non-human reservoir okay so next question kya hai so next question is a veterinary doctor had pyrexia of unknown origin so his blood culture in special laboratory media was positive for gram negative short bacilli which was oxidase positive so which one of the following is the likely organisms grown in culture and the options are Pasturella species or Francisella species or Bartonella species or Brucella species and the right one is option D that is Brucella species. So the causative main likely organism grown here is Brucella species. So here what is pyrexia so pyrexia is so pyrexia is a temporary increase in average body temperature that is 98.6 so it, it is a temporary fever okay so move on to the next question it is the single most common cause of pyrexia of unknown origin is mycobacterium tuberculosis salmonella typhi Brucella species or Salmonella paratyphi A and the right one is option A that is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. So the single most common cause of pyrexia of unknown origin is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Okay, so move on to the next one. So which of the following is commonly used as a nitrogen fixer in paddy fields and the options are Francia, Oscillatoria, Azospidilum or Rhizobium and the right one is option C it is Azospidilum is uh, commonly used as a nitrogen fixer in 
paddy fields okay so next one is incubation period less than 5 days for staphylococcus aureus or yersinia pestis vibrio parahemolyticus or all of the above and the right one is option d that is all of the above so all of these organisms incubation period is less than 5 days okay so move on to the next question it is about ventilator associated pneumonia following is or are true except maximum chances of occurrence is within 5 days of ventilation most common in ICU patients disposable tube made up of PVC preferred or high volume low pressure cough preferred or both C and D and the right answer is option E that is both C and D is the right answer about the ventilator ventilator associated pneumonia sorry uh, these two that is option C and D is not correct about the ventilator associated pneumonia okay that is the exception okay so move on to the next one that is the type of fermentation observed in yeast is acrylic fermentation lactic acid fermentation pyruvic acid fermentation or alcoholic fermentation and the right answer is option d that is alcoholic fermentation so the type of fermentation observed in yeast is alcoholic fermentation so move on to the next question that is most common species of pseudomonas causing intravascular catheter related infection is pseudomonas cephasia pseudomonas aeruginosa pseudomonas maltophila or pseudomonas malae and the right one is option b that is pseudomonas aeruginosa so most common species of pseudomonas causing intravascular catheter related infection is pseudomonas aeruginosa so let's see the next question that is most cost effective method to prevent hospital acquired infections are alcohol based hand rubbed or hand wash disinfectant use or use of antibiotics and the right answer is option b that is hand wash so hand wash is the most effective method to prevent hospital acquired infections Chale, dekhte, next question kya hai? next hai, following blood transfusion blood bags are disposed which color coat bin and the options are red yellow blue white and the right answer is option b that is yellow so for blood transfusion so for blood transfusion after blood transfusion so blood bags are disposed with the yellow color bag okay so next question kya hai dekhenge? so next question is according to the biomedical waste guidelines 2016 the material for incineration should be discarded in which color bags and the options are red blue black or yellow and the right answer is option d that is yellow color bag so according to the biomedical waste guidelines 2016 the material for incineration incineration should be discarded in yellow color bags okay so next question kya hai so next is all are disposed by incineration or deep burial except solid waste animal waste cytotoxic waste or force it and the right answer is option d okay so move on to the next one which of the following is disposed in red bags and the options are plastic waste cytotoxic waste shops or radioactive waste generated from lab and the right answer is option a that is plastic waste so plastic waste is disposed in red black red bags okay so next one is after the fermentation process penicillin is recovered as sodium penicillin or only penicillin calcium penicillin or potassium penicillin and the right one is option d potassium penicillin so after fermentation process penicillin is recovered as potassium penicillin so the next one is all are true except human 
anatomical waste is disposed in a yellow bag red bag contents can be a source of contamination black bag is used for the incineration as or blue bag contents are always disposed in secure landfill and the right answer is option d that means blue bag contents are always disposed in secure landfill this is the exception that means this is this is the this is not true but other that is option a b and c is true about the biomedical waste bags okay so the next one is which of the following is not true regarding surveillance of water pollution and the options are multiple tube method is used to calculate the number of bacteria option b e coli can be tested by indole test at 44 degrees celsius number c that is sodium thiosulfate is used to neutralize chlorine or presence of corini bacterium indicates recent contamination and the right answer is option D that is presence of corini bacterium indicates recent contamination so here the following is not true regarding surveillance of water pollution that is the option D is not true okay so move on to the last question of this video sorry this is not in the last question so next one is pasteurized milk is most commonly tested by phosphatase test coliform test catalyst test or oxidase test and the right one is option a that is phosphatase test so pasteurized milk is most commonly tested by phosphatase test okay so move on to the next one that is the it is the last question of this video so milk bone disease are salmonellosis e coli streptococcus tuberculosis or all of the above and the right one is option e that is all of the above are milk bone diseases okay so these are all questions or mcqs on applied microbiology okay so thank you for watching this video